What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in, all my beautiful sevens. Hey, once again, if you haven't done so, do me a favor. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification button that time. That way, you know when my next prediction is coming out, as well as other videos that I might be putting out. I appreciate you guys. Hit the like button. Let me know what you think about these predictions once the video is over. All right, so let's get into it. My prediction, my second prediction for 2021. Prediction number two, your dog... Or cat will get COVID nineteen or B one one seven, which is the new strand of COVID nineteen that came out in the UK, and now there's been cases about it in the uh, USA. Uh, so your dog will get COVID nineteen. Okay. The concern is that the new variant could cause cases to spike yet again in the new year. If you're ill, instead of only. Uh, making two or three other people sick, you might actually spread it to four or five people. And of course, with more cases come more hospitalizations, more ICU beds being filled, and the potential of overwhelming our healthcare system. The variant does not appear to cause reinfections in people who've recovered from the disease, and it's not believed to affect the efficacy of the new COVID-19 vaccines. But it does show that viruses like these can mutate easily. The bottom line is that we need to suppress transmission of all SARS-CoV-2 viruses as quickly as we can. The more we allow it to spread, the more opportunity it has to change. Meantime, Colorado authorities are investigating how the new strain surfaced here and who the National Guardsmen came in contact with during their deployment. Uh, so your dog will get COVID-19, okay? You will start to see news about this um, in the first quarter, uh, definitely near near the end of the first quarter. And I think that it will spike in the third quarter to where it would be socially recognized and accepted. Okay. All right. So a couple of things that I think is going to come out um, in regards to your dog getting COVID-19 or B117. The first thing is that there's going to be new rules and regulations about walking your dog in a park. You know how you go to a park and you see a lot of people, they might take their dogs off their leash, let their dogs run around, or you might see another dog go up to another dog, or you might, you know, nowadays people are so afraid to get next to a person, you know, you just reach by a person, they go, oh, oh. but you know, I, I, I notice nowadays people are still like that, but when it comes to dogs, they might be like, oh, hey, and pat the dog, but when it comes to the people, like, oh, stay away from me. Well, now I think that people might have some tendency of fear when it comes to or just being uncomfortable when it comes to dogs instead of petting them and being like oh you're beautiful they just might be like oh you know so that's one thing that i think the second thing that i think is that um they're gonna have somebody's going to invent uh a new muzzle or a new type of mask to put around your dog I feel sorry for the dogs. You know, I feel sorry for all the people that got to wear these masks and things like that. But for dogs and cats and, you know, animals, things like that, to have these masks, that's going to be really, really dramatic. But uh, my, I'm predicting that you're going to see something like that come out. Quote me on that. Look look in your Facebook or uh, Instagram or something, and you're going to see these things. You know, and it's interesting because this prediction, I had it for a while, and I'm just putting it together right now. But I feel like I really need to hurry up and get it out because it's interesting I came across a a clip today, and they said that three gor gorillas got COVID nineteen. Three gorillas got COVID nineteen, um, and um, I'm going to go ahead and attach that clip to um, this video. So I'll go ahead and take a look at it. So uh, we have two gorillas at the San Diego Zoo that now have tested positive for COVID nineteen. Uh, two that have been tested positive. We have another that's symptomatic. Uh, we are con currently confirming the source of the infection and the strain. There is some question, did it come human to animal that's being determined? Uh, and one has to respect uh, that process and the adjudication of the facts. But nonetheless, it's just an area uh, that's long been of concern, human to animal transmission. But our beloved gorillas, obviously, um, we are uh, concerned about and San Diego Zoo best of the best uh they've tested now formally two positive but three are symptomatic so people might say oh animals can't get it. animals can't get it but you know do some research look around this this is the year where we're going to see some things with animals keep in mind that we're in a new year when the five energy as far as numerology is concerned and then also in addition to that 
uh, we are in a new Chinese zodiac. And I don't even know what zodiac it is. I know last year it was the what was it last year? The ox. So I don't I don't know what we're in this year. I think we might be in this in the snake or something like that. I gotta take a look at that. But um yeah, those are my predictions. So again, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you think about my predictions and um uh, let me know if you have any predictions. Um, again, these are just predictions, but they are based on probabilities and, you know, also on intuition and things like that. And based on everything that I'm seeing and that I'm feeling, um, that's what I think. You know, that's, that these, these are things that I think are going to come to pass. But anyway, hope you guys have a great day, great week, great year, and a great life. My name is Jonathan. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.